Hello and welcome to episode 8 and let's start trying to solve this puzzle of my playthrough, Little Buttons playthrough of Amnesia Machine for Pigs. Hope you've been enjoying it so far and if you've got to episode 8 you've got to be reasonably enjoying it surely. sound healthy. Right, well this one's wide open. Is there anything I can do with it? I can, ah, I can take those out. I was going to try and put something in, but taking out works as well, I guess, if, I'm, if, if I've got to feed another one. Um, quite light. I'll leave them there for now, I know where they are. I thought it might have been a puzzle. I may have been wrong. All these sort of valves and the two furnaces led me to believe that, ah, oh, there's more, so probably is something I've got to do here. Uh, 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 let's check in this room then. Ah, it's, it's not as dark and dingy in here as I thought. Good. Stop! Are your furnaces fueled? Well, apparently not. Okay, a broken gauge on the floor, that always helps. Ah, there's more furnaces. Ah, oh, they slide, ah, I see. Slidey, slidey, okay, so... That one was showing me a furnace on, number one. Number two had two in it, so I'm assuming they all need two. Clever me, eh? Five and six, let's do four first. Right, that seems to be on, but let's just have a look in here. <laughs> yeah, I can't open it, so that's done with. Uh, but it's got some coal. I'm guessing that's coal. It's quite chunky. I'm going to need some around here, I reckon. Oh, it's dark in here again. Where did that monster go? It ran off in this direction. It only have went upstairs and smashed its way out, which it clearly didn't do because nothing was smashed up there. Or come down here, <clears throat> and it's it's not here. Ooh, three point. Oh wow! Is that as far as you can throw it? Wow! It looks more like you drop it than you throw it. Drop. Throw. Kind of goes a little bit further. Uh, I was expecting it to fly through the air. I was going to... Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> there we go. That's too... Do I need to press the button? No, it doesn't seem so. Do I need to shut the thing? I might have forgotten to do that on all of them. Oh, and now... Oh, doll. I've got to go back to all of them now. Typical. Oh, frig it, frig it. Kick it. Come on, just brute it. Stomp on it. Ah, oh, sudden things are annoying me now. They're sudden everywhere. Freaking me out. Simple little mechanic. Oh, it's not there. And then it's there when you come back. It's so annoying. Just, oh. There's only one more to turn on. He's not here, he's not here. Good, good, good. Closed. Turned on. That did not sound healthy, and I think I've just got a journal note. Might help. <clears throat> the fires are stoked. Assuming the same architecture is responsible here as with the chemical plant, I summarise that the centralised control system regulates and operates the controls at uh, the pistons. It should be a simple matter of finding it and hoping the saboteur relented after simply extinguishing the fires. <clears throat> well, I get the feeling that I am Mandus, being as the bloke keeps calling me Mandus. And I've got a big fancy house, and I've just forgotten something. I assume I've forgotten it. I don't remember it actually having much of an intro that made it seem like you'd completely forgotten, like the first one did. 
Oh, okay, that's now locked in place. So let's hope that if there's an order to. What was that? Oh no, someone's a pistol. I crap myself there. Like, oh. Let's hope this doesn't have to be done in a particular order because I'm going to do it wrong. Holy crap. It was meant to do it in an order and I've done it wrong. Starting. Oh, there's a note there. Is that it? Is it there? Let's just read the note. <clears throat> a series of collecting vents have been installed along the ceiling at this stage of the line. In the process of stunning and bleeding, the product often expels stinking vapors from its digestive system, which can be collected, condensed, and used as a, in the methane, methane boiler to drive the engine as a whole. In this way, the more product is processed, the more power becomes available to the machine, and productivity is actually increased. A simple stroke of genius, but one that encapsulates the benefits of self-regulatory and automation. Indeed, my friend. Now, where was it I had to go? It said under the pistons. see a way down. I don't think I could fix that. And I'd probably die if I tried. And it's very difficult to open because it gets halfway open and then tries to shut itself. No, definitely not going to be able to fit through that. Even with a crouch. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, no, it's just another. <coughs> Spot me then. I saw a spotlight right on it. This thing's a big bloody circle, it could be anywhere. Jeez. I could it have left too, is that open now? Did it leave? Sorry if you can't see anything, I can't see much either. I don't want it to see me. It's still here. Mm. Seems like we've got oh. I hope it's gone. But then again if it's gone that's the way I'm gonna have to go in it. I'm trapped. Oh, jeez. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. It doesn't seem to be around in the immediate area. Let's have a look over here. Is that. Ah! Huh. Well, screw you, pig man. I'm staying here. This is my house now. <laughs> Never leaving again. Uh, I am so running back here. I'm, it, it's going to sodding chase after me, and if the foot of such an epic hiding place like that there, it's going to be after me any moment. Don't you dare shut behind me. I found a great hiding place. I want to go back. Good. What, what was that? Ass! Damn it. I thought I was too pro for it then. But no. Oh, mouse keeps playing up. It's not fun. 
crawling around on all fours everywhere. Just, just like the monster. You didn't see me. You didn't see shit. You did not see. Holy crap, run! Run! No! Ah, don't look behind, don't look behind. Weave, bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Uh... No! Don't turn around. Ah. Stay the other side. Stay. Run! Let's just run around the table. Run! Go for it! Go for it! Escape! Escape! Can't get on there! Run! Ah! No! Ah! Oh crap! Run! Where's that to hide? Keep running! It, as it stops? As it stops? Where is it? Where is it? Crap! 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 Hide! 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 <laughs> I don't like this game. It's still here, isn't it? Do I hear? I've I haven't got like a health meter. Does that just mean I heal over time? Or am I like one hit from death now? Shh. No. No. Where are you? You didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. Oh god, there it is. I. I. No, it knows. Run. Run again. Run again. Run. Run. Ah! Ah! No! No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Run. Run. Crap. Where is it? Where is it? Stop it! Run! 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 Is it... Is this dark enough? Jeez, I'm staying here for a sec. Oh. What am I supposed to be doing? I'm just running from the thing? Oh my god. Just stay here. Wait. Oh my god. Do not like... Do not like at all. Why is my screen gone all kind of red? Is that because I'm hurt? It seems to have stopped. Or is that because I'm in the dark? I don't know. No, it's stopped now. Whatever. didn't see me. You did not see anything. Okay, well hiding there is going to be no good because it's bright. Did you see me? It's there! It's there! It's there! It's there! I thought it was over here! Run! Did it spot me? I don't think it did. of uh, pinkies from Doom 3. That's what it reminds me of. Now that I've actually got a good look at it. Not that I wanted to. Went through like the whole first amnesia without knowing what the monster suddenly looked like because the split second I saw movement. I cracked it and ran. And whenever it did catch me I was staring into a corner of a dark room going don't spot me, don't find me. Noise. 
because I can't listen out for where it is. All these pistons are making way too much noise. Walked into a thing. I think I've ah, there's a note. There's a note in a dark, dingy corner where monsters are chasing you. If you just stop to read a note while that thing's just patrolling about, you're pretty stupid. So let's do it. The product moves now into the bleeding. <clears throat> a system of spring-loaded blades are arranged here. Tension is built via a series of springs that run along the bleeding line. Using the momentum of the product itself to up, build up energy for the action ahead, the blades are released at a point of optimum tension. As the product passes them, the combination of speed of release and the sudden stop against the rubber buffers at the side of the line set the blade spinning rapidly enough to cut through the throat of the product. It is a clean, sympathetic and efficient process. The product then continues along the line, and the natural bleeding process is allowed time to occur. The blood collecting in the angled basin at the foot of the line, secondary spring, spring blades are positioned at two further points along the line. Should the mid-level rubber buffer continue to be manipulated in the form of the semi bled product thrashing or twitching, these movements automatically form the basis of the spring energy required to send the next bleeding blade into, the, into activity. That's nice. Just in case it's still alive, we've got a second wave and if you twitch it sets them off. Nice. Well, that gave me a second to clear my thoughts and calm down a bit. Ugh. I do not like this thing. I, I, I bloody hope it's not in front of me again. <gasps> it bloody is! It bloody is! Hide here. Don't you dare spot me. I'm dead if it spots me. I'm dead if it spots me. Don't you dare spot me. No. No. That's it. Keep on walking. Yeah. Oh, crap. It's done. Keep going. Don't look at me. Oh, God, God. Oh. Is there more than one? Is that what it is? Just another way past. Damn it! <clears throat> uh, dear me, that is not good for my health. So this is just cold, right? So I'm underneath the pistons now. That's that's a good thing, right? That's a good good thing. Good thing. A, a good thing. What's my journal saying? The descent continues. It's not amnesia the dark descent, it's amnesia a machine for pigs. What did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bilge pumps. And if the door should be locked, I will have to find another means of descent. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore those noises, that snuffling, those shuffling steps below me. Below me? I thought they'd be above you. Oh dear, there's not more. I will brave whatever lurks beneath, and I will save them. Not the monsters, the children, I'm assuming. Nothing to the left of me. Nothing to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle of monsters. It's very dark and very long that way. And it's dark-ish that way. Yeah, there's stuff here. There's stuff here, so we'll come in here first. I bet you this is a dead end and we have to go walking down there. I know how these games work. Compound X storage. Danger! No naked flames. So good thing this isn't an, a, a, an amnesia, old amnesia lantern. It wouldn't be a naked flame, it'd be covered, but you know, there'd be a higher risk. And there's a note here. We're still in this area, so still in that one. We were in that one before. I assume we've been in a couple of the others before. 
I hope. I don't know. Or maybe we just started there and we're working straight down. I, I really didn't pay enough attention to them before, but we were definitely in that one, and now we're in that one. But we've gone underneath the pistons, so we should be about to get into the, the assembly line sort of thing with all the picks on hooks. Fun! Let's read this note. The crate arrived this morning, and it had deli I had it delivered directly to the workshop. The body is remarkably preserved, although there is a subtle yet nauseating stench of damp and rot. It is a humanoid in shape, but has suffered severe skeletal deformity. Remnants of leather straps encase the torso, which is deformed, with evidence of substantial muscle mass and displacement. It is difficult to ascertain whether this unfortunate is a <clears throat> Pardon me. Is the whether this unfortunate is the recipient of some barbarous surgery, or was born deformed, and an attempt to force his gnarled body into some semblance of humanity was made. What he is, I cannot tell. But I smell the orb upon him, so it is the orb again, and suspect my great uncle's presence in this curious condition. So it can be done. We can reshape the body into a tool accelerate the process of Mr. Darwin's evolution. But here, my great uncle and I part company. He chose men as subjects of his experiments, but men are difficult to control and rotten with sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our chattels. Loyal, clever, strong, easily sated. Okay then. Oh. It seems that's time for this episode, and that door's locked. Let me just check if this one's locked. Yeah, that one's locked, so it looks like we're heading straight down there. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.